for six years, and six years you've been sticking it to me. I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know how. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker. Welcome, film aficionados, to a flashback voyage down memory lane. Upon its 1976 release, Rocky swiftly rose as the top-grossing film of the year, raking in over $117 million at the box office, dominating its competition. The boxing masterpiece garnered 10 Oscar nominations and clinched three wins, notably securing the Best Picture Award, propelling Sylvester Stallone into superstardom. Stay tuned till the end as we uncover intriguing insights and fascinating facts about your favorite Rocky characters, because this is a perfect time to reflect on Stallone's journey and revisit some of our cherished Rocky characters, reminiscing about the enduring impact they've had on audiences throughout the years. Talia Shire as Adrian Panino. I want to let my brother know where I am. Well, I'll tell you something. You know, Paramount showed the movie about two months ago. Talia Shire was the perfect choice for the role of Adrian Panino in the iconic Rocky film series. Despite initial considerations for other actresses, her portrayal of the timid pet shop worker who evolves into Rocky's supportive wife earned her an Oscar nomination. Shire's pivotal moment in the original film, where Rocky passionately declares, Yo, Adrian! Adrian! remains a cherished moment in sports movie history. Continuing her role in five more Rocky films, Shire has etched her place in cinematic history. At 77, she reflects on her accomplished career, also known for her significant contributions to the Godfather saga. Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa. So I took the opportunity to write this particular film, of course, being somewhat selfish because I had myself in mind for it. For example, when Rocky, Rocky would never be made today. This, this never would have happened. It's over the majority. Sylvester Stallone embraced the role of Rocky Balboa, a working class Philadelphian transitioning from debt collector to boxing hopeful in his self-authored script. Though he received dual Oscar nominations in 1977 for Best Actor and Best Original Screenplay for Rocky, without winning, the film cemented his status as a Hollywood icon and catapulted him to fame. Stallone, now 77, has had a thriving career, starring in blockbuster hits like Rambo, Cliffhanger, Demolition Man, and The Expendable series. His return as Rocky Balboa in 2015's Creed, where he also scripted, garnered him another Oscar nod, this time for Best Supporting Actor. Burt Young as Polly Panino. She got a little scared. She actually juxtaposed the ending and said the last paragraph first. When I needed money as a kid, my father would give me 25 cents. I said, Mama, I need two grand. Burt Young, known for his portrayal of Polly Panino in the Rocky series, was Rocky Balboa's brother-in-law and closest confidant, working at the meat factory where Rocky trained. His role spanned five Rocky sequels from the 70s to the 90s, cementing his legacy within the franchise. Beyond the Rocky films, Young showcased his acting talent in movies like Once Upon a Time in America, Back to School, and Roomies. Not just an actor, Young was also an accomplished author with published screenplays and a historically rooted novel titled Endings. Tragically, Young passed away at 83 in October 2023, prompting Sylvester Stallone to pay tribute, reminiscing about their time together and highlighting Young's exceptional talent and presence in the world of art and film. Carl Weathers as Apollo Creed but uh, all in all, it's just, it's been a great experience to make a movie like this. Or if you have the Easy Bake Oven, how many people know what an Easy Bake Oven is? Carl Weathers is best known for portraying Apollo Creed, the elite champion who initially clashes with Rocky before their friendship develops in the franchise's third film. Beyond his iconic role in the Rocky series, Weathers has enjoyed a consistent career in the entertainment industry. Even at 75 years old, he remains actively involved, boasting roles in TV series like Tour of Duty, Street Justice, In the Heat of the Night, Brothers, and Colony. 
Notably, he showcased his versatility by playing Grief Karga in the hit series The Mandalorian, proving his enduring presence and adaptability in Hollywood. Burgess Meredith as Mickey Goldmill. So if I began to choke from the cigarette, I go. <laughs> uh, turned out to be very legitimate and. Uh... Burgess Meredith brought to life the character of Mickey Goldmill, the seasoned and sharp witted gym owner who recognized and nurtured Rocky's potential, serving as his trainer throughout the Rocky sequels. Despite his established career, Meredith revisited his role as Mickey in all of the Rocky films. Apart from his iconic stint in the franchise, Meredith appeared in various TV shows like Gloria and movies including Grumpy Old Men, Grumpier Old Men, Clash of the Titans, and The Last Chase. His passing in 1997 due to Alzheimer's disease at the age of 97 was a tragic loss. Nonetheless, his portrayal of Mickey stands as an indelible part of cinema history, remembered fondly by audiences. If you love these actors as much as we do, don't forget to hit that like button and share this captivating journey through cinematic history with your fellow movie buffs. If you're hungry for more exclusive insights into Hollywood's legendary tales, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming explorations. Tony Burton as Tony Duke Evers. He came up with the idea of Apollo Creed being Muhammad Ali. Don't give up. Never quit. Tony Burton, known for his role as Apollo's trainer Duke in the Rocky films, brought realism to the boxing scenes due to his Golden Gloves fighting background. Portraying Duke as a voice of reason, he recognized Rocky's potential when others underestimated him. Burton appeared in every Rocky movie, transitioning to train Rocky after Apollo's demise. Beyond Rocky, he had some impactful roles, such as a small part in The Shining, aiding Dick Halloran, and a memorable scene in Hook, dropping scorpions in the boo box. Following various TV guest roles and small film appearances, Burton retired from acting in 2007 and passed away in 2016 at the age of 78. Joe Spinell as Tony Gazzo. You and your girl, Adrian, you have a nice time, eh? Yeah? Thanks. Actually, I co-produced with uh, Bill Lustig, the director, and Andy Garoni, the producer, two young boys. And Joe Spinell, portraying loan shark Tony Gazzo in Rocky, treated Rocky with respect, despite his dubious occupation, echoing Spinell and Stallone's genuine friendship. Spinell often played street-smart characters, featuring in films like Sorcerer, Taxi Driver, and Cruising. He embraced his intimidating presence in lesser-known horror movies, with his most notable role as serial killer Frank Zito in 1980's Maniac, a film he co-wrote. Spinell also appeared in The Last Horror Film and The Undertaker. Tragically, Spinell passed away in 1989, marking The Undertaker as one of his final on-screen appearances. Jody Letizia as Marie I'll make your breath like garb. Told me to stop smoking and things. Jody Letizia's role as Marie in Rocky might be brief, but it's a memorable part of the film. While she had limited on-screen roles beyond Miami Vice and a stint on Saturday Night Live, Letizia was sent to reprise her role as Marie in Rocky V, although her scenes were ultimately cut. Despite fewer screen appearances, Letizia embraced stage performances, earning acclaim for her one-woman shows such as Over the Edge and Love is a Four-Letter Word. Thayer David as George Jurgens. There are only three or four men in the world who can be depended upon to base their decisions on pure reason. Am I quite different to what you expected? Thayer David's portrayal of George Jurgens and Rocky added depth to the film's supporting cast. Known for his work in Dark Shadows and Journey to the Center of the Earth, before his appearance in the 1976 film, David brought experience to the role. Sadly, Rocky marked one of his final performances as he passed away at 51 from a heart attack. Among his last notable roles were in Fun with Dick and Jane as Deacon and in the TV miniseries Roots as Harlan. Joe Frazier as himself. I didn't have too much time to check around to feel if that was me out there. <laughs> because I know that was me. But you know, throughout the, the craziness, he talked about, you know, 
just the fight and guys you have beat up. Smokin' Joe Frazier, an iconic figure in boxing, made a cameo as himself in the film Rocky. Shortly after retiring from boxing, posts his fight with George Foreman. While he didn't venture much into acting, he occasionally played himself on screen, notably in guest appearances on The Simpsons, where he voiced his character in two episodes. Beyond acting, Frazier continued to contribute to boxing as an ambassador and trainer. He expressed discontent with the Rocky film, feeling that Stallone drew too heavily from his life for the character. Frazier passed away in 2011 at the age of 67. Tell us in the comments below which Rocky character inspired or impacted you the most. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, and share this video with your friends and fellow Rocky fans. For more intriguing tales from Hollywood's rich history, remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications, ensuring you catch all our upcoming explorations into the captivating world of cinema's finest. Until next time, keep punching with positivity and stay tuned for more amazing insights into the golden era of film.